and today we are taking a look at one of the distance driver from Lone Star Disc, the buoy. So the buoy here is a very fast, somewhat overstable distance driver. The numbers Lone Star gives it are 13, 5, negative 1, 3. Very similar to something like a boss or a giant. It's fast, it's got a little bit of turn and some nice late fade. Notice the art there, it has the, the buoy knife, trademark of Alamo hero, John Buoy, who died defending the Alamo. Uh, he was bedridden at the time and apparently was found slumped against a wall, defending the, the space from his cot with just a pistol and his signature knife. So uh, kind of cool backstory there. I've got two of them. I've got the Alpha Blend and the Bravo. They are both 173 grams. I've thrown them a good bit. You'll actually see some footage from some different time periods with the Bravo one. I've had it since January and I got the Alpha one more recently. Now, interestingly enough, with most Lone Star discs, I have found the Bravo to be slightly less stable. That's been true with the Curl, the Midi, the Mad Cat. The Bravo is just a little bit straighter in general, but with this one, it's kind of been the opposite. I don't know if it's, really the profile's no different at all, but you'll see in some of the, the throws that the Alpha one shows some more turn. It's really cool. It almost has like a halo effect on it, whereas the, the Bravo and this one's just a nice solid red, but both feel really good. If you get a look at the profile, it's got an unusual feature. So the top is a classic sharp distance driver top really fine sharp uh, wings similar to like a nuke uh, or giant's not too far off but it's not as quite as thick as a giant but the kind of unusual thing is right here it's a gentle sloping bottom and then it kind of makes a quick angle and juts down and that little spoiler there makes it a little bit more stable makes it hold up to the wind a little better and probably turns it from being a really straight bomber driver into a slightly overstable one I tried these a lot over some different time periods in the field and uh, on the course. I got some good shots from some different spots. You'll see it in a headwind, tailwind, and different situations, different temperatures. And overall, I found it to be a really great disc. Hope you guys enjoy seeing the throws and uh, we'll recap at the end. So the buoy, or often called Bowie, uh, is a disc you can really launch. And I kind of like the Bowie name for it because like David Bowie, it is a star man. It will get out there really far, really fast, and looks like it's about to take off into space. Uh, but I actually think that it could be a, one of those few distance drivers that players who can't throw crazy far, and you saw some of my throws were very far with this disc, but even if you can only throw 350 feet, this might be a really good wind fighter disc for you. Whereas something that, like a, a really overstable disc, like an Excalibur, Stiletto, something like that, that I would throw as a wind fighter, that's not gonna you know do anything for you guys, but that might actually glide through the wind a little bit. For a disc that's this overstable, the glide is really, really nice, and the forward, forward penetration is great. 
So really great job to my sponsors at Lone Star Disc. Really enjoyed throwing both of these, but uh, the red one I have to say I like a little bit more. This one is really nice for long hyzer flips though. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and have a great evening.